What's going on, everyone? How's it going? Uh, I figured today I'm going to, I guess, start pushing greater rifts. So, I figured... I've already done a couple of greater rifts. I think the highest I've gotten to is 35, but for the sake of putting out some videos, I was going to start with 25 and eventually push my way up. Because i still got some gems that I need to upgrade. So we'll go ahead and do this one as an empowered, empowered rift. Uh, I kind of like the idea of the empowered rifts. Uh, just giving you an extra gem upgrade at the end. It helps speed along the process. Especially, you know, well, with the extra upgrade. And, you know, sometimes they don't go according to plan. Goddamn fucking 90% chance to upgrade my Bane of the Stricken and all four of them failed. <laughs> it's a bunch of bullshit if you ask me. But I digress. Basically, I'm just going to be running my, uh, I'm running a simple Jade Harvesters. I don't have all the equipment for it. Uh, I'm still looking for a Quetzalcoatl. Uh, I'm, what's the other one? A Wormwood I need. And then as far as the jewelry piece goes, I, um, I think a convention of the elements would be really nice. So I still, I still need those. But once I get those, I'd be able to start taking on, I guess, T10, or... Yeah, it's just been a... It's been a crazy season. I already got the uh, Legacy of Nightmares set. I played around with that. That's actually really fun. I was taking on, like, T8, T9 with just... I mean, not even a, a build or anything, just with some of the spare ancients I have lying around building off of that, and I think that's pretty fun. Just a little more uh, playability. Uh, you know... That way, you, the only things you've seen in past seasons were like, oh, Zunamasas was the top one, so every Witch Doctor was doing Zunamasas. And this season, it seems like, uh, you know, there's a lot of Legacy of Nightmare set sets for Witch Doctors hopping the leaderboards. And every one of them that I've seen is different. I think it's pretty neat. I like it. I like seeing, uh, I like seeing uh, build diversity, if you will. You know? Instead of being like, well, that guy, he's topping the leaderboards and everyone else behind him is using uh, Jade Harvesters. Let's everyone use Jade Harvesters. Uh, hey, it's, it's, it's just a, a, a breath of fresh air. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Seeing new builds going on, seeing different things topping the leaderboards. And, uh, and here, I, here I am sounding like, leaderboards, leaderboards, leaderboards. <laughs> I should talk about other things. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, so far, season five, I'm I'm loving it. Uh, I've mostly played Jade Harvesters. Uh, I got a couple pieces of Helltooth and a couple pieces of Zunamasas. Uh, since I mostly played Zunamasas last season, I'm interested in looking at the Helltooth because I never finished that set last season. Usually, I tend to uh, start out strong with the beginning of the season. And, you know, once you've done, once you've kind of done everything, it kind of fades out and. I mean, I'm not the only one. Uh, the, it's the entire... No, maybe not the entire Diablo com community, but... A, a good portion of it, uh, once you get towards the end of the season, they just drag on, you know? At least in my opinion. It feels like they go on longer than they need to. And that's my only problem with the seasons. You do everything in two months, and then you got like three or four more months before they end it. <laughs> At least what it feel, that's what it feels like. I think they've been running about four months long, which I think is two months too long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But, either way. I, I, I'm not, not complaining. I'm, I'm loving what they've done with it. Uh, how far it's progressed since... I'm, geez, when did it launch? When, since I got it in launch? At launch? Geez, who, who remembers the original uh, <laughs> Inferno? <laughs> I tell you, I, I literally have, I couldn't play original Diablo 3 Inferno. I, a buddy of mine and I tried playing it. I was literally like tried to be the meat shield and I just I just died after one hit. It was ridiculous. But it, I like I like what they've done done with seasons, ladders, whatever you want to call them. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It, I'm not even been talking about the clearing of it. Like the playing is just so second nature once you get the hang of it. I could sit here, I could talk, I can kill things, left click, one, 
left click, 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 <laughs> right click, one, kill, harvest, it's, you know. And those of you uh, wondering, I do use the uh, healing journey for my spirit walk rune. I know it's not typical of that, but I find healing journey to be my only uh, reliable source of healing, if you will. There we go. So, I mean, I, I kind of like to add my own flair to these builds. You know what I'm saying? So, what else is going on? I was going to, you know, on my off time, I play other games besides Diablo 3. I was looking at some of the Steam sales and stuff they got. I was a little surprised this week. I, they, they didn't have a Humble Bundle. Uh, well, they have a Humble Bundle, but not a Weekly Bundle. So I'm, I'm sitting for that. I'm sitting here waiting for that to pop up. Or waiting for the one to come out next week. They usually have a lot of good sales, a lot of good games. Maybe I'll start playing some of those, putting some of those up. You know, once I eventually get as far as I'd like to in the Season 5 here. And there we go. One of my one of the cool things I like about the Jade Harvesters build, I mean, it's not even anything the build. Well, I guess the build does it. But when you dot all of them with the haunt, and you harvest them all, the haunts just go out. <laughs> you just see the haunts running around, going to find all the enemies. I think that's pretty funny, especially when you get a big mob of them. Oh, I haven't even used my horrify. There we go. Not that hor well, Horrify gives me extra bonus. It's just not the, uh... It's just not Haunt. Oh, I hate lightning. But, yeah, most of these, uh... As of right now, I've gotten my Bane of the Stricken up to level 25. Uh, if I can upgrade that, I'd do it. Uh, I'll do it when I get to higher levels. Right now, I'm just focusing on upgrading my, uh, Esoteric Alteration. Uh, I... What's what's a good way of putting this? Uh, I am to squish. I think I think that's a good way of putting it. So I need I need a little uh, a little more resistances to make me a little more beefy. I, I mean I could probably just eat potato soup and a bread bowl every day of my life. That'll get me beefy. But <laughs> two oh six. Bam. Still still have high hopes of reaching my goal of uh, Paragon eight hundred by the end of this season. <laughs> if I continue to play through the entirety of it. But either way, any bit of leveling I can get done in a season, I am more than happy with when that transfers to my off-season characters. Nope. Oh, explosion enchanted. My worst enemy. Come on. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of explosion enemies, you know. Especially in greater rifts. Your only limit I mean, I got plenty of time. Don't get me wrong, it's only greater rift twenty five, but like when you get to higher greater rifts, every second counts and if you have to sit there and stand there for ten seconds while an enemy explodes after he's died, it just it's uh it's so frustrating. I'm sure some of you can relate. But yeah, yeah, things have been going pretty good. I'm trying to keep true to uh, upload on a regular basis for this year. Now, once... I know this is months and months off, but once November and December roll around, uh, November and December of 2016, of course, I can't promise I'll be posting as often or as frequently. But, you know, I'll, I'll do my best. You know, the whole, the whole work schedule thing. Usually, November and December, my ass belongs to my job. <laughs> Not that it doesn't belong to my job year-round, but... I literally live at my store in November and December. <laughs> Which, you know... We'll save that discussion and my... Views on what Christmas has become for another... Another video, if you will. Because we're about to finish this up here. And I got a lot. I could I could go on forever about Christmas. I, uh, don't get me wrong. I love Christmas. 
I, if if Christmas could happen every day, well, I mean that would pretty much just destroy everything we know about. Jeez, he went down fast. All right, ah, that's what I was looking for. Ah, uh, Bane of the Trapped. See, that's that's gonna be the third gem to complete this set. So. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, you know what? I'll let you. I'll let you guys join me for my upgrades here because this alt esoteric alteration is gonna get 100% upgraded 100% of the time. It's gonna make me a little bit more beefy. Gonna have a lot of fun. Nope. Oh, did that? Did that take? Yeah, it did. All right. Well, guys, thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you next time.